Octave Dosso is not an ordinary baker in the city of Porto Novo. The graduate from the School of Public Works of Yamoussoukro in Côte d'Ivoire is now one of the pioneers in composite bread production in Benin. Tadegnon Bakeries is a leader in the promotion of bread made of a mix of wheat and maize flour, commonly known as gambarin leafin, in Benin. Initially, I was not a baker by training. Now I'm a baker by trade, but I'm rather a graduate from the School of Public Engineering of Yamusukro. Then, I took a master's degree in project management at the International Institute of Management in Porto Novo. I came to the bakery because I saw an opportunity for me. Composite bread offers great economic opportunities for the managers of Tadignon bakeries. Every day 3,000 baguettes are produced and sold in this bakery. In terms of distribution, some women and young people come and collect the bread on a daily basis at the bakery to resell it. All these people are making money just with the marketing of the bread. La bonne dame qui vient chercher du pain, elle le prend à 100 francs. The ladies who come to collect the bread pay 100 francs for a loaf and resell them 125 CFA francs. They have a profit margin of 25 francs on each baguette. If they happen to sell a lot, they make more money. However, to the young people who come to collect the bread with motorcycles, we are selling the baguette at 90 CFA francs. They resell it at 100 CFA francs to the women and earn 10 francs on each bread. In fact, they take larger quantities of bread. A young man can take a thousand or a thousand and five hundred loaves a day, while the women often take a hundred, a hundred fifty, or at the most, two hundred loaves a day. In spite of his reluctance to reveal his daily turnover, we can guesstimate that Tadegnon bakeries earn nearly three million CFA francs per day. Today, the manager is leading a successful business and contemplates opening a showcase bakery in the city of Cotonou, where the numerous lovers of the bread can buy it every day. But beyond these profitable business opportunities, the advantage of this technology is that it could have significant economic implications for the entire economy of Benin. <laughs>